Welcome to another Learn and Save video brought to you by the project team here at Save Money Cut Carbon. Today we're in the heart of Lincolnshire and a really exciting project. One of the largest LED retrofit projects in Europe. The client, Lincolnshire Herbs. So let's go inside and take a look. So here we are in the heart of this huge greenhouse and we're joined by Paul Bailey, the Managing Director of Lincolnshire Herbs. So Paul, thank you for allowing us to come in and tell the saving story of, of, of this project. I wonder whether you could start by telling us a little bit more about Lincolnshire Herbs and why energy reduction and carbon is, is increasingly important to you. We've been here for about 25 years or so. Uh, we grow uh, living herbs uh, from seed in pots, as you can see behind me. We also buy in herbs to sell as retail packs for UK retail customers. So our retail customers are Ocado, Morrisons, Asda, Lidl and Aldi. So I'm assuming the fluctuation in energy prices and the rise that we've all seen has really had an impact on your business. As you can see, we're going to be quite a big consumer of energy, whether it's through lights or through heating. So we looked at what we could do to mitigate those increases. And the LED lighting project here, my understanding, is not only reducing the energy for your business, so the cost of energy. Obviously, cost is a big factor in what we're doing, and we think we're going to get something around a 25% reduction in unit uh, consumption based on the LED lights versus what we had in before, but also the uh, LED lights give us a better quality product. They basically give us summer all year round, as well as better quality, we'll get a better yield. So bigger products and also a better throughput because the uh, plants will grow quicker uh, than they used to in the, in the winter. I assume linked to that, the carbon footprint of your business and your carbon emissions are increasingly important when you're talking to your customers and your supply chain. All of our customers are interested in sustainability. Uh, we're targeted and monitored by all of the customers on, on what we're doing on sustainability, whether it's collecting rainwater or what we're doing about our carbon footprint. And obviously this is gonna make a big impact into Fantastic. that. Fantastic. I understand actually this is one of the biggest LED growing projects in Europe. Obviously you selected Save Money Cut Carbon as your project partner from this, from the first kind of need through to developing the business case. I understand nearly half a million pounds of the grants were, were created for you, through to the physical complexity of installing nearly 3,000 lights across this huge, great site. Can you give us a little insight on, on why we were your partner and why that's worked for you? What we really wanted was a one-stop shop that could do all of that work for us, uh, that could find out the best ways of getting the uh, the rebates back and the best ways of getting uh, the lights installed. Has the project come to completion with your satisfaction? Are we getting where we need to be? Absolutely. We're just literally at the time now where we're switching the lights on for the winter um, and we're already seeing a, a reduction in the energy usage. So that's, that's fantastic. So yes. Fantastic, Paul. Thanks for talking to us today and thanks for inviting us in to talk about your saving story so that we can share that with others. No problem at all. Glad to be a help. Now we're joined by Kerry Earle, the technical manager here. So Kerry, welcome. Can you tell us a little bit about technical manager here at Lincolnshire Herbs? What exactly is that? Okay, so yeah, I'm the technical manager here and I'm responsible for growing the, the agronomy and growing all of these lovely herbs here today. This is quite specialist LED, isn't it? It actually does more than just reduce the energy bills for the organisation and their carbon footprint. Can you tell us a little bit about how the LED affects the, the, the growth of the herbs? Yes, absolutely. So what we have found through the use of LED is that it's given us a better energy. Um, that means that we're, their plants are able to grow a much better, stronger root structure. This enables the plant to better protect itself against pests and diseases. We also end up with a much bigger leaf canopy, so it's more value for money for the customer. Um, and the flavour and intensity of the leaf is, is actually much, much higher. So we can actually produce a summer quality product all year round, even in the depths of winter. I know the Save Money Cut Carbon team here helped in the early days of building the business case. It's a really big site. How, how big is Lincolnshire Herbs? Okay, um, so our whole site is actually 20 hectares, wow. um, but under glass we actually have three. So it's a big operation and a big site. Kerry, thank you for giving us an insight into to your aspect and how this is help, helping you. We hope to see lots of really big and healthy herbs in our supermarkets <laughs> that I'm sure will come from installing these wonderful lights. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So we talked earlier about the detail of building the robust business case, getting grants, 
to the design and all the aspects that go to get a project like this live. But there's no real impact in reducing energy bills or carbon footprint unless projects are really, really delivered. So we're going to talk now to Nick, the Operations Director at Save Money Cut Carbon, and Dale, the project manager on this site. Can you talk to us about how you kind of approach this project a little bit? Some of the major challenges for this site is the environment, the temperature, the glass. It's a greenhouse. So we have to be very mindful of the teams working above the product um, on the gantry and obviously the product um, on, on the deck to make sure there's no contamination. So Dale, as project manager here, tell me about this gantry. I don't see, I've seen this. This was obviously made specially to get this project, you know, in and running. Yes, yeah, so this uh, section was specifically different to the other seven or six sections within the facility. So we had to build with our installers a cradle to hold their existing gantry on so that we could actually access the luminaires themselves. The far end wasn't too much of an issue because we couldn't actually lay this on so we could get it to ladders, but this section was the specifically tough. So in this case, uh, you had to build a unique gantry just to get the, the product uh, in, installed. Can we take a look at one of the new LED lights? So 2,928 of these special uh, lights, and we can see on here the different colored LED chipsets that gives this effect uh, across to help not only reduce the energy and the carbon, but also increase the growing capacity throughout the year. And in the distance there, you can see the lights, some of them flashing as they start to be commissioned uh, and, and brought up ready to uh, start their, their work in helping the herbs grow. Thanks guys, great to speak to you, to have a look at the lights and to understand some of the real challenges in working in this huge and quite unique environment. Thank you. I'm now joined by Tim from uh, TCE, one of the Save Money Cut Carbon approved installers. We have a number of these across the UK that we work with on all of our projects. So Tim, tell us a little bit about some of the real nuances and complexities of working in this kind of pretty unique and large environment. It's just a, a very big project. Getting rid of all the old lights as well has been quite a major, major task. But the LEDs are fantastic uh, bits of kit. We know from early, early on in our installation when they were using them that the crops were benefiting massively from, uh, from the installation that we'd already done so we're getting feedback before we had before summer came which is really good but um, but yeah so it's good to see it all finished and, uh, and completed so here we are at the end of another saving story with save money cut carbon it's been a great day looking at this exciting huge and complex project so it takes really brave leadership to move forward on these sorts of projects. And the last thing I get to do is to present Linkager Herbs and Paul, the managing director here, with their Net Zero Hero Award for making this project happen. Paul, thank you very much Fantastic. for choosing Save Money Cut Carbon, and thank you for being a Net Zero Hero. Thank you very much.